Hi YouTube, Eddie here, and today we're going to build a loft bed with a bed up top and a desk down below. Um, my two oldest boys, my 18 year old and my 12 year old, they share a bedroom and I bought them a bunk bed several years ago. Um, I bought it from a big box store. And I'm not going to give you the name of the store, but I'll give you a hint. It begins with an I and ends with a Kia. Uh, I don't know if I put the better the bed together incorrectly, but it's never been very sturdy. Uh, it's, it's, it's always been kind of rickety. And actually, uh, you know, I just I don't feel too confident uh, with that bed. Uh, my 18 year old, he's going off to college in a few months. So I want to build this loft bed for my 12 year old boy. Um, I want to build something that's going to be sturdy. And substantial so I don't have to worry about you know the bed collapsing on him so that's why we're gonna build the loft bed uh, I went through the internet and found this image that I really liked this is uh this is what we're gonna try and build today um, I went to Home Deep Home Depot and I purchased the lumber this is all uh, construction grade uh, lumber two by sixes two by fours uh, if you look at it, it's pretty rough looking, um, but underneath the surface is some beautiful pine. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, first step is we're going to cut everything to length. Then we're going to send everything through the planer. Uh, and then after we send everything through the planer, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, send everything through the joiner. And then we are going to go ahead and smooth the edges, because once you send something through a planer and a jo joiner, those edges are pretty sharp going to want to smooth those over we're going to so then we're going to send everything through the shaper so like i said the first step we're, we're going to do is we're going to cut everything to length on the miter saw okay Okay, now that we have all our lumber milled up, it's time to assemble the bed, or the uh, loft bed, I should say. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, corner post, 
Um, these are going to be the vertical uprights. We're going to have four of them. And we're going to mark and drill pilot holes uh, to accommodate a uh, lag bolt. This is a three and a half inch lag bolt. So we'll go ahead and get started on, on drilling the pilot holes now. Okay, uh, we have the four corner posts here laid out on the, the, this table here. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark the position for the rails and support rails. So if you look at the picture here, here are the corner posts. You've got four of them, of course. And then you're going to have two rails, front and back, for the bed. And then behind the loft bed, you're going to have two support rails. So we're going to have to mark on uh, two of the four corner posts, one, two, three spots. And on the other two, you're just going to have to mark two uh, for this one rail. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started on that now. Okay, um, to mark the spots where I'm going to drill the pilot holes for the lag bolts, I made a template here. And if uh, for those of you who uh, want to know the dimensions, it's um, I forget what it is right now. Uh, message me and I'll get back to you. But it's just math. I, I just uh, I, 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 I took a guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark these here. And my mechanical pencil. Make a hole or trace the, the marks rather. Do it for this one as well. Okay, that should do it for the um, for the bed rails. Now we have to mark for the supports. Okay, like I said, we are going to uh, drill the pilot holes for this three and a half inch uh, lag bolt. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take out my these are called Forstner bits, and in this case. I'm taking out the 7 eighths of an inch Forstner bit. And by the way, you're going to want to drill the uh, this Forstner bit before you drill the pilot hole all the way through. The reason being is if you drill the pilot hole first, and in this case we're using a quarter inch drill bit for the pilot holes, if you drill this, this pilot hole first before the Forstner bit, you have a quarter of an inch play. And I don't know if you've uh, ever had to do this before, but to get it to perfectly in the center is very, very difficult. So what you want to do is you want to drill your Forstner bit first. And what I do is I just, there's a tip, there's a, a sharp tip on here, and I just put this right in the center of the mark I made.
and then you start drilling and you drill until the top of this Forstner bit is flush with the board. So you go down until the, the top is flush with the rest of the board. Okay, now that the uh, Forstner bits have been uh, drilled, it's time for us to drill the pilot hole all the way through using a quarter inch drill bit. Moment of truth. Let's see if this works. There you go. This looks pretty good. This is the lag bolt that's going to be holding the bed rails in place and the support rails. going to go ahead we're going to drill the rest of the holes using the quarter inch drill bit okay so now that we have the pilot holes drilled in the corner post uh, it's time to assemble the the bed uh, I made this jig uh, just for the assembly um, it's pretty easy it's a piece of plywood and some uh, one by uh, sides here uh, the reason why I made it is just because you know I have I have uh, six or seven rungs on the sides and I want all the rungs to be evenly spaced and square and perpendicular to the corner post which is critically important as you, as, as you know. So I made this jig to make that process uh, that much easier and that much more accurate. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start assembling this now. Next, I made another little template. This just hangs over the side here like this. This just tells me where to make a mark for our screws that we're gonna be using to, uh, to screw into the corner posts and in through the rails, or into the uh, rungs, rather. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and screw the corner post into the rung. We're going to be using a number 12 wood screw. It's a large, substantial wood screw. This is two and a half inches long. Um, some of you may be asking why I used a quarter of an inch 
drill bit for my pilot hole. Right? Just kind of trust me on this one. If I used something small, a, a smaller diameter drill bit, and I drilled these in, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to cinch it up nice and tight. There's going to be a gap in here. So that's why I, I, I used a quarter inch. Uh, quarter inch going directly into the rung is going to make it nice and tight and, and strong. So that's, that's the reason why I did it. Okay. What I do is I, I, I'm going to get everything ready. I'm not going to dog it, dog it down just yet. Okay, so this is one side of our loft fed that's complete. Um, there's seven rungs and you have two uh, corner posts. And um, right here is where I'm going to put the lag bolts for the, for the uh, bed rail. On the other side, I'm going to have the same thing. I am going to have to take this one uh, rung off. Uh, for me to cinch that in there, but then I'll just go ahead and screw that back in no problem But on the support pieces you got them on the sides here as well um, You may be asking yourself well, why don't you just put this over on here so I wouldn't have to take this off Valid point. It's just that uh, I'm trying to accommodate room for a ladder You could use these uh, these rungs as a ladder as well But I want to have also a, a ladder in the front to go up and down um, so that's the reason why. Um, and as I mentioned to you before, this is nice and tight up against your bed post. These rungs are nice and tight up against these uh, corner posts, rather. Um, and again, if I used a smaller diameter bit, uh, there would be gaps in here. And of course, you don't want that. So. And this is, uh, this is strong, this is heavy. This one piece probably weighs over 50 pounds. So it's uh, definitely not your typical big box store uh, bed that we're building here. Okay, so time for us to build the other side. Okay, now that the sides of the uh, loft bed are complete, the next step is we have to drill pilot holes in the bed rails. Uh, if you recall, on the um, on the sides here, I did on these corner posts. There's four of them. I drilled pilot holes uh, for the bed rails. And next step is we have to drill the pilot holes in the rails themselves. So in order to do that, yes, I made another jig. Uh, I think it's pretty important, as you would agree, to have the holes line up with the pilot holes of the of the corner post. So what I've done is I just made this jig and these holes line up exactly to the holes I drilled in the corner post. So we're going to go ahead and drill these on both sides of all the uh, supports and bed rails. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, now that we have the pilot holes uh, to accept the lag bolts, um, the next step is we have to we have to uh, attach a a, a cleat, <clears throat> and what that is, um, it's just going to be a one by one and a half by one and a half inch um, length of two by four. 
All right, so now that we have the pilot holes drilled in the bed rails to accommodate the lag bolt, next step is we're going to have to put a attach a cleat onto the rail. And this cleat is to uh, support the slats that go across uh, that will support the mattress. So all a cleat is, it's going to be a one and a half inch piece of wood, the length of the rail, going all the way down. All the, on, on both sides of the uh, bed rail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, a slat. It's not going to be this, but this is just that. And I, I put these slats all the way down, then a mattress rests on top. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut one and a half inch by one and a half inch on the table saw using the two by fours. Okay. Next step, safety rails.
Okay, uh, it's coming along. I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, uh, and the reason why I put it together now is just because I want to get I want to get this ledge even across here on both sides so that we could you know put it, put tables on either side and you know some of you out there are gonna be saying well it's just math I know <laughs> okay uh, sometimes uh, with me just math doesn't work uh, so that's why I put it together and we're just going to make sure uh, that we have um, our supports in the right place so that when we put the uh, put the top of the desk down it everything's going to be even and square okay okay so ultimately and eventually there's going to be a piece of plywood resting on this ledge here and I'm also going to have a piece of material in here it's going to be resting on that as well but as you can see I you know there's there's this ledge here and you know I want this to be flush so what I'm going to have to do is I have to take my router uh, to, to this ledge bit here and I'm going to probably go in about halfway and just route out the length of the table just so when I put put the plywood down it's going to be nice and flush with the ledge Okay, here's the finished product, almost. Um, the only thing left I have to do is I have to put some banding strips on the plywood here to cover the plies. That takes about 20 minutes. Um, other than that, I think, uh, I think we're done here. And I think it looks great. You have the two tables here. You have a ledge in the back. You have your ladder here. You have your, uh, the, we have the safety rails, uh, front and back. On the sides here, if you're so inclined, you could use this as a ladder as well. Um, this was a, it, it wasn't too technical. Um, there were some, some parts of the build where it was a little more technical than others, like using the router uh, on the rail. But other than that, it was pretty straightforward. It really took me about, in total, about eight hours, I'd say, to build. Um, and it was a lot of fun. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you next time. Take care.